I'll never forget that one winter afternoon 10 years ago. It was uh, the, epi the epitome of a bitter cold Connecticut day. My mom had just picked me up from elementary school when we saw one of my classmates walking home without a winter coat. It was below freezing. She abruptly stopped the car and asked my classmate if he wanted a ride. On the way to his house, my mom asked why he didn't have a winter coat and where his parents were. We found out that he was a child of a single mother who was working full time, so she couldn't pick him up from school and they were not able to afford a winter coat. I didn't think much of the event when it happened, but looking back at it in retrospect, I realized that it had a major impact regarding privilege and my views on it. As a kid, I could clearly understand the enormous impact that money had on an individual's life. There was never a concern about having dinner on the table for me, a warm bed to sleep in, and clothes on my back. Likewise, being in the middle class also allowed me to understand what it would be like to have financial struggles. Nothing was handed to me on a silver platter, and I was given the opportunity to understand the value of a dollar and experience earning my own money. I have learned to be thankful for everything I have, and I never forget that there are millions of people in the world that would willingly trade places with me. I can empathize with both sides of the coin, and I have the ability to accept where I stand. Likewise, education is another privilege that I have. When I reflect on the number of people in this world who have been given the opportunity, who have never been given the opportunity to attend school, I realize just how lucky I am and how truly privileged I am. I can't deny that a person who has never received an education is at a major disadvantage. These experiences have revealed that, you know, most people possess privilege in one way or another. Just like in the first story, um, the boy that I was talking about, he was going to school, but he had privilege in one way, but he did not own a winter coat. So privilege can vary dramatically and it is entirely contextual. When I used to be in school, I knew a lot of girls who had money, but I could realize that no amount of the money, clothes, or popularity they had would ever satisfy them. This isn't to say that rich people aren't happy, but it just demonstrates that no amount of money can buy happiness. Having money is both a privilege and an advantage, but there are many crucial things that money just can't buy. Money can't buy health, it can't bring back a person who has died, and it can't give you two loving parents. It can't cure a mental illness, and the list continues to go on and on. My most valued privileges, the ones I would be reluctant to give up, have nothing to do with money. I am so fortunate that everyone in my family, including myself, is able-bodied both physically and mentally, and I grew up with two parents who loved each other and loved me and support my choices. Without these factors, I would simply not be the person I am today.